Hey guys, so this here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to uh, Unranked Diamonds. I've actually not recorded this series in quite some time uh, because I kind of was focusing on the main account. Whoa, that was quick. Uh, here's the Loader Madudar though, it's a high plat game. It's a one trick Yone, one trick uh, Blitzcrank who dives and dies, who invades. So let's not dilly dally, we have duo. Uh, let's kind of prepare for the invade. Let's go here. So yes, we are playing Echo. This was donated from Dead Zombie. Um, and while we're kind of warming up, I thought I'd give an update. Because uh, this is actually my first proper league game. Oh, why are you going here? Again, you want to be here. You want to get them really far into your own territory. So they're fully committed to the invade. And unfortunately, my team just doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> we could have completely, absolutely annihilated them from that. But they're just walking around randomly and stuff. I don't know. That was weird that they did that. But anyway, um, yeah, I was in hospital uh, a couple nights ago. So after I finished my stream, uh, again, with my health issue uh, called GERD, I get coughing fits. That's just part of what I get. And sometimes they're really bad. Uh, and part of having GERD, basically, you get ulcers within your stomach due to acid and all that stuff. And obviously, I'm medicated from it. But obviously, that's not 100% the answer. But anyway, after my stream on Wednesday? Th Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. Um, I had a really bad coughing fit, which is, again, it's normal for me. It, it's not like it's not a normal thing. I get coughing fits. And it was a pretty bad one. And then I started coughing. And then, unfortunately, throwing up, kind of. And unfortunately, it was blood. Which is obviously a little bit spooky. Um, and it's happened before, but this was a little bit more than normal. Uh, well, you know, it's not supposed to be normal to throw up blood anyway. But, uh, yeah, so I rang the kind of, like, non-emergency number here in the UK, explained it, talked to a doctor, and they were, they sounded a little bit more, uh, urgent about it all than I was, and they were like, no, we want to see you now, and I was like, oh, because they were like, yeah, we want to book a time to see you, I was like, oh, yeah, when will that be? Oh, like, now, I'm like, oh, okay, uh, so I went over to the hospital, did all that stuff, I did get released, which is good, um, but yeah, in essence, they just think the coughing fit basically made a, one of the ulcers go pop. That's basically it. So yeah, it was a bit of a ordeal. Um, you know, it, it it's not a it's not fun, but it's the way of it. So I'm feeling I'm feeling okay. I'd say in myself. Um, you know, it's always a bit of a an emotional setback more than anything. That like my health issues have been. They've not been perfect, but they've been under control for a while. But this is obviously a little bit of a setback for that. So it's just more of a bummer than anything else. Um, so yeah. But I'll be okay. So Poppy... This Poppy, what the hell? So the Poppy just seems to wanting to camp bot lane. And then she went into the tower and died. Nice. What? Nah, let's go back. Yeah, so again, people are like, what's moving forward now? Um, so it's not like they just released me and like, ah, see you later, bye. Uh, I do have a follow-up appointment on Tuesday um, to talk about my options. Ooh. Um, yeah, talking about my options and stuff, because obviously the surgery route was always in the background, but this happening might have like kind of potentially sped up the decision of we are doing the surgery. So we'll see. Um, Cause yeah. I didn't want to freak you guys out, but you know, I let you guys know what's happening here or there. This poppy seems really bad. Why would you flash? Okay, yeah, she and oh, he got a kill on thingy. Wait, I didn't get an assist for Yone. Wait, oi, stop it. My farm. Hmm. Well, this game's turning into a stomp. To be honest, the poppy kind of is forcing stuff way too hard. 
Like, I don't know. You guys saw that she did two ganks, then she died to the tower, and then really aggressive play, and then, like, I'm surprised you even had flash up, to be fair. But, like, why would you flash in that situation? You're flashing into the territory of the enemy team. Just accept the death. Don't use the sum. I can't even farm, by the way, because there's just too much fighting going on. And he's got TP, so... Yone at least can maintain some farm because he can get into lane quick. Oh, that's sloppy. Yeah. That wasn't great. Poppy. God, this Poppy doesn't farm. She is only ganking. What the hell? This is a very weird playstyle. She has got Dark Harvest on Poppy, by the way. Hmm. Question of the day. Out of Echo and Yone, who's the least healthy of champion? I think it's pretty close between them. Yone? Some people are saying Echo by far. Some people are... What the hell? Where are you going? Shut down. Oh, that health. I think they're both very unhealthy for the game as a whole. But, yeah. I, I think it would just be personal opinion. I don't think there's an actual answer. Again, to be honest, like a lot of things in League, there's not an actual concrete answer. A lot of League of Legends is just um, opinion. If Mordecai's ults an Olaf and he presses R, does he escape the death realm? How does that work? He, he, oh, some people, <laughs> see, this is where Twitch chat. Some people said, yeah, he escapes, and then some people go, no, he doesn't. What? Yeah, 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 this is pretty good. I took the hook for him. That was on purpose, by the way. Hey, girl, Opa. Blue buff for me would have been great right now, but no biggie. Obviously, I did the ult trick that I just got back to lane straight away. I don't think I'm about, like, considering we just had a fight and stuff, I don't think we're actually going to be taking another fight actively with the Yone, because we don't have Ignite or anything, so I'm not that fussed. Jesus Christ. Is there a plant? No. Oh, sad. There's no plant. Oh, their health bars. Ooh, 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 ooh. You got back to lane with ult. You've never seen that before. Wait, really? What? Well, this poppy is like mad. Like, what the hell is her playstyle? I've never seen a poppy this aggro. To be fair, I don't really think poppy jungle's good, but. Yeah. It's actually hard for me to kill a Poppy in a 1v1 because she'll just deny my engage. Hey, Moxim. You see Echo mid though, Huzzy Sus. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a free champ to play. Like, I'm missing out on farm, but I'm 2-0. It's really hard to, like, stop a Yone just free farming. Oh, 
Because I think, I don't know. Who would I say is an easier champ to play, Echo or Yone? I, I would personally consider both of them insanely easy to play. And I know some people would be like, what? Yeah, I don't think there's much to Yone or Echo. A lot of them, they're just strong because of their kit. Again, as we've seen many times, you can miss... You can miss a lot of your parts of your kit on Yone and end up killing people quite easily. I'd probably say Yone's easier than Echo. And that's saying something because I think Echo's really easy to play as well. Uh, Barador, or Bor, Rador, thank you so much, dude, for the four months tier one. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Okay, what the hell is going on in bot lane, man? Hmm. Two kills, I'll take it. I'm um, did Yone TP to top lane? I don't know. I'm guessing he did, but I'm not 100 percent sure. <sighs> I don't know why he's got TP. Is TP like a thing you actually take on Yone? Because it kind of feels like Ign uh, Ignite would be better. But that's just me. Uh. But this game, I will say, it should be kind of free if the Poppy's doing what I think she's doing. I think she's kind of going like a really aggro squishy build. That should kind of give us the game if I'm not, you know, if I'm completely honest. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I got Blitzcrank hooked. I thought Yone, like, teleported me then. I was very confused. Ah. So Olaf got killed in the solo, and we didn't get Dragon. I think Fiddle maybe should have come bot, but oh well. Can Echo ult to get out of Mordor? I actually have no idea. I has no idea. Yeah, she might be going Divine Sundra. Which is kind of funny. Did anyone see the Ragnarok anime? It was so good. I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of people that haven't enjoyed it. Like, yeah, if it does fall into some of the stereotypical kind of not great anime tropes. But I actually really thoroughly enjoyed it, to be honest. Jesus Christ. whole enemy team is like what's up homies let's go oh i'm on my way you can't fiddle why are you ignoring everything, Fiddle? Map awareness. God, you have no map awareness. I can't R. Dude, he just like completely just walked into them. Why did he? Oh, God. Again, this is what I haven't played on this account for over a week. And at the tail end of when I haven't played on this account, I did say the map, the quality isn't good. For even high platinum, it just isn't. Holy moly. Hey, Pengu. I can't believe that fiddle just literally walked right into them. 
<sighs> that axe. I don't know what I'm watching. <sighs> Wait, he's not dead. Oof, he didn't die. We should have pretty good team fights, you know, with a fiddle ult if we actually manage to get it off. What is that damage? <laughs> oh, I know I'm I'm a, like a record repeating myself, but when the damage is this high in the game, where the hell is the skill expression? When a poppy is doing that much damage. And this poppy's had a terrible game. It just doesn't matter. Uh... Again, I know I'm I know it's annoying sometimes to hear, but I do miss when League wasn't about League of One Shot. And it's just like the devs just don't care. And I know that's probably not a nice thing to say if a dev ever hears it, but genuinely, how can the devs care when the damage has been this high? It's just ludicrous. Again, I'm trying to remain really calm in that because obviously I'm still kind of recovering. I don't want to get myself worked up too bad. But man, League of Legends. Well, that was close. Hello, Poppy. God, she's really obvious as well. We just need to have a good team fight here with a fiddle ult. Fiddle ult, severe AoE damage with the, that build. Echo can get a big me, can get a big AoE stun. And we'll be okay. If they can pick bot lane as well before the fight, that's fine also. Yeah, if they get a double kill here, that's okay. Yone's there. Wait, they only got one? There's Poppy. God, how do you kill that champion? Jesus Christ. Someone just said in chat, as an Echo main from the day it was released, I can I can say that I also miss the days when I had to outplay to get my combo perfectly to kill somebody. Because now it's either you're fed enough to one-shot them or you die instantly before you can ult. Pretty much. Aces V series, thank you so much, dude. To cheers. Uh, why do you think what what do I think of pro players saying that League is the most balanced spot in a while? Balance is very different between pro play and solo queue. I've said that for many years. He got one before he died. I'm guessing Yone TP top. Do I go? Hmm. Lich Bane's the aggressive second item. Let's just do that. <clears throat> Fiddle ult, baby! Kaka! Oh my god. I told you, dude. Wait, Varus? What? He flashed in. I literally will just die if I dive him. He does too much damage. What is the damage in the game? Like, this is ludicrous! <laughs> the dude has one item! And look, he's full health! Oh my god. Uh, do I think Riot should buff dragons? They seem weak. No, dragons are very strong. I actually wish they kind of got rid of the elemental dragons to personally. But, yeah. 
God, that's mad. Well, look at that. That's a fiddle damage. Fiddle isn't known to do burst. He does now. Ugh. Again, I don't want to be too complainy, guys. Obviously, I'm not in the best of mood with, like, recovering and that, but... Ugh, maybe League of Legends isn't the best thing to do when recovering anyway. Hey, Zaratha. Oh, this poppy is just nuts. Why did I ignite? God damn it. But I also, I can't remember if I actually mentioned it in a video or not. I might have. Uh, Riot did give an official announcement to what they're doing about mages. Because again, mages have been in a pretty... Um, Pointless place in most of season 11. Um, they've officially said they're not doing anything. Uh, they're looking to do it in pre season of season 12. They're not going to do anything right now. So, yeah, if you're a mage player, not the best news. Which is a shame. I don't think I can kill- wait, he's 2 and 9? So the Mord is probably in like full tilt mode. He's probably in like tilt mode that he's having a bad game, but he's just gonna split. I still can't 1v1 him as an assassin. That just isn't. Oh god. Oh, I'm playing bad. Okay, I don't know if I should be playing League at the moment. My concentration just isn't there. Ugh. Oh well. If he just stands at all to attacks, he kills the poppy easily. Good slow. So she's legit playing Poppy, I don't know, like a, it's so weird, like a bruiser of some kind. Odd. Mm. Hey Chewy, viewer games, we'll see. I do want to get ranked content. I get a po if I am uploading this, which I might. Because it does show the real, like, you know, in the end of the day, I'm a human. I do have struggles every now and then. Maybe I shouldn't be uploading right or recording ranks right now, but... I don't know, I care about the content a lot. I always have. Mm. I mean, he didn't actually need to flash. Ward? Oh. Ace. God, the enemies. The the again. Our, our advantage is team fights. The poppy build is really bad for team fighting. Re again, I'll say good for like single picks, but that isn't also what poppy is supposed to be, you know? Poppy's supposed to be that kind of pretty good in team fight tank, and she's not fulfilling that role this game. Lissandra isn't that bad this season. She's okay. Lissandra's just a counter pick. She's not worth blind picking. Um, she's good into a lot of, like, actually a lot of the meta mids because Lissandra's a counter pick to a lot of the assassin -y type champions. So, yeah, no, Lissandra can work. It's just her damage is pretty bad. Uh, 
But yeah, no, I'd imagine it's fun. I'd imagine playing that build is quite fun. Chris Maud is just dying a lot, isn't he? Oh, I can't even move! I was legit chain CC'd for so long! Hey, Joe Magic. I mean, it's worth. We got, we got a good team fight again. So, it's fine. I just died again. Uh, got some good news. How's your thing applying for an online course with horses? Nice. Cool, cool. <clears throat> so, yeah, we've had a bit of a weird game here. Not really been farming that much, but we've actually still done a couple of good things, which is good. And again, we're again we're laning against a Yone. It's not like it's a incredibly balanced champ that's a free lane. It's a Yone. Would I be happy if Riot reverted the items to the old ones? Personally, yes. But I'm also a bit biased because mages have been screwed the most out of all of it, and you can't really play mages anymore. So, I'm a little bit annoyed by that. Oh, this Poppy is, again, she's too, again, the, the, the key thing is she's too aggressive for her own good. That's been the big thing this game, is that even in the early game, she was feeding like crazy because she just kept running in. So a lot of, like, she's not at a, well, she's, it's a bit of an air game. Oh, we got it! Yes! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um... Why can't you play mages? They're just really weak. Again, you can play them. When, when Again, when a content creator says you can't play something, we are talking about, like, you know, the ultimate example. You can still play it, but... That champion is just insane. What the hell? Nice. Oh wait, Poppy's here again? God, this is like an insane game of League of Legends. Didn't they say, oh well, basically the only time mages have been good is when the items for mages were overpowered. That's it. Because, like, at the beginning of the season, the Leandres was overpowered. Then, I don't know if Ludens was ever overpowered, but Leandres was overpowered. Then, Frost, the Frost one, Everfrost was overpowered. And they've toned them down to not be overpowered, and then there's no point playing mages. So, yeah. Oh, I had stop... Wait, did I have a stopwatch? Oh, if I had a stopwatch, I could have saved myself. As I mentioned, apologies. My concentration level, I just isn't there right now. Um, so yeah, my bad. I just bought it. Oh, apparently I just bought it. The goal of today when it comes to, if you know in League of Legends and you're going to have it occasionally and you want to still, if you want to still play the game and you know you're not going to have the best game, the biggest goal, the, the biggest thing I can tell you guys to do is just don't be the reason that your team loses the game. You know, even if you're like this game, we're very neutral. We're eight, eight, nine. You know, we're, we're getting involved. We've been involved in more kills than we've died, but we've got the same amount of kills than our deaths. That's fine. That's what I would, I would, in my own head, call a relatively neutral game of league. And if I know I'm not playing my best, a neutral game of league isn't that bad. So, yeah, be realistic with yourself. A lot of people put on like inhuman expectations on themselves. In the end of the day, we're all just human. You're not always going to perform your best. You're not always going to be able to. And that's okay.
I'm gonna go get Zonya. Ooh. Ooh, baba. <laughs> Would I say it's better to learn jungle than to play a good late game champion? It's a bit of a hard question to answer, to be honest. If I'm completely honest. I'd say late game champs are better to play nowadays than, it, you know, than really they've ever been. But yeah, also this game's kind of funny. Look at the farm. She's dead again. But like 100 farm, 220, 140, 240. So the farm differences are just like mid and jungle. Eek! I'm just- I'm just biding my time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, wait, we're not ending? Uh, we probably can't end, actually. Mythic on Singed? I honestly have no idea. I know- again, this is the thing. This new item system. Some champions have no items. And I'm aware of that. I know the Singe. I'm not. I'm not a massive fan of Singed, but like I, I know the Singe community has kind of felt a little bit screwed this season. Oh. Bot lane, baby. Singe doesn't feel like anything is excelled was yeah again i do think Singe is the type of champ that could benefit from a rework um but the way that riot do reworks anymore i actually don't think reworks are that beneficial because you know a rework nowadays isn't really a rework it's a refresh so if a champion is unhealthy then the rework isn't probably going to do that much and mundo before his rework was still pretty healthy in the meta and he's not bad it's just the same thing maybe he's even a bit stronger but it's more or less the same champion. It's because Riot, obviously, since the Aatrox one, they got way too much backlash for actually doing a proper rework. And, yeah, they're not doing that again. Hundred gold? I try to get rid of the... Um, I try to get rid of his thingy, his spell shield thing. Ta! One auto attack, I think. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So we've actually recovered our game a little bit in the end, which isn't bad. So like I said, have a neutral game. We actually ended above neutral. But uh, apologies that my concentration probably isn't quite at the perfect mark. I, hopefully you guys can understand why at the moment. But uh, I'm still happy with the game. We still got an Echo game. We still got a nice victory. So I'm happy about that. That is good. Um, I'm going to give it to, I think, the Fiddle. I think he just played well. Um, give us feedback. I'll click on that in a second and see what it wants. But we went 12, 8, 10, plus 16. And damage-wise doing eh, mediocre damage. Oh, wait. I didn't even swap. Sorry. Again, this is where you can just tell I'm out of it a little bit. Um, so we just, yeah, not crazy good damage. We recovered our game more in the late game there than anywhere else. Severe does the most, then the Olaf, then the Fiddle. But yeah, I guess this would be just based on comp. Not that hard of a game to win considering, especially Poppy with the weird squishy build. A big Fiddle sticks, like forget even the Severe or any of us, the, the, the Fiddle sticks all on top of a big team fight, their comp is just going to fall apart. So that went quite well for us. So I'm happy. It, when I click on this, by the way, it just wants me to go, uh, let's just see what it's about. I feel, okay, so it's about language, this this little survey that it's asked me to do. I feel that the game has been translated entirely by native speakers or high-skilled translators. I do not find the grammar inconsistent, etc. So it's about language. 
I think League's pretty good for that, to be honest. I don't think it's bad. But anyway, that'll be it. If you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.